here we have the McDonald's double cheeseburger. Let's just go through this very quickly. What do we have? Just, just got it. Just right from the store, still hot. Looks like we have pickle. Looks like some ketchup, some mustard. One piece of American cheese underneath. Another piece of American cheese and some tiny onion with a toasted bun. All right, well, let's gather our ingredients and see if we can do better. Here we have our ingredients. Mustard, ketchup, no advantage there, same. Our bun, however, split in the center, a little bit more substantial than a McDonald's bun. Here we have our onion, very, very thinly sliced, small onion, just like McDonald's. Ours is fresh, not from a bag, however, so I'd say advantage us. Cheese, American cheese, two slices per sandwich. In this case, we're gonna go with a smoked Gouda and American cheese. Advantage us, I'm thinking. And here we have our homemade pickles. Definitely advantage us. <laughs> here we have our beautiful dill pickles that we've made here at home. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see how to make these. I'm gonna do these on our next video. Now it's time for the meat. Here we have our freshly smashed, by the wife, I can't take credit, hamburgers. Unlike McDonald's, frozen, again, advantage us. Our seasoning, I wrote it down just so I wouldn't forget what it's all made of. We've got salt, pepper, fennel, oregano, red pepper, pink pepper, ground, all ground up, sea salt, ground again, garlic. And that's what we're gonna use. Again, advantage us. Anaheim's right here. Uh, yes, these are nails. Because <laughs> I'm a guy. Uh, that we just picked from our garden. So this is all going to happen very quickly now. Let's go ahead and throw our buns on. They're buttered. Oh, I forgot to show you that. Buttered. Put them on here. Let them sit for a very short period of time. We're outside. It's 90 degrees. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the buns. They're not going to get cold. It's only been like a minute. I'm just gonna pull these right off. Put them over here. Ooh, I don't want to have two bottoms of cheese. I've done that before. I've made, two. ooh, that is hot. I'm always burning myself when I grill. And I don't know if you guys do that, but I do. So uh, I think I'll use this here spatula. Oh boy, there we go. Now we gotta do another one. Uh, and I need another bun. <laughs> I'll do that off camera. <laughs> gotta show you guys my mistakes, right? All right, let's get this meat on. We're ready to put the meat on. Can you see that temperature? It's a lot hotter than McDonald's cooks theirs. We're gonna cook this just like a steak. I mean, it is the same animal, right? So let's get these on. And you should hear. You hear? Can you hear? <laughs> That's what you should hear. I'm gonna put these on for one minute, 30 seconds on each side. That's it. That's all we're doing. So we'll come back when we're ready to assemble. One minute, 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and do this. Time to flip. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, that's smoking. This is a smoker, but I'm using it as a grill. It does have a grill feature, which is awesome. We'll come back and assemble. All right, it's been one minute, 30 seconds on that side. Now we gotta assemble. If you're wondering why there's five, well, we do have a dog. <laughs> there we go. So let's do this. Grab, stack. Oh yeah, Daddy needs some gloves. Stack. Coming with our smoke Gouda. Oh yes. I'm happy. I know you just can probably tell. Oh, don't touch that, Steve. Don't. Oh, it doesn't. I know, not part of the video, but they're on here because we're going to eat those. All right, let's close it up for just like 30 seconds. So while I'm waiting that 30 seconds, I'm just putting these onions on here. Yeah, get them on there. Less, more onion, do what you want. That's up to you. Depends on how much you like onion. All right, look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. I'm going to throw it right on there like so <laughs> the 
this one too. This guy, we'll just set him to the side. Puppy dog, right? Ooh, I'm gonna have to clean that grill, huh? Cheese got everywhere. All right, let's go ahead and assemble. Now we want the pickle to stick. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like a good bit of pickle, and it should stick to your cheese right now. You put as much pickle or as little pickle as you want on your burger, all right? Because it's your burger. That's the beauty. Sure, you can tell them how to do it at McDonald's, but are they really going to do it as good as we're going to do it right now? Now, I forgot my spoon. Since it's me, <laughs> I'm just going to smear it on there. The wife doesn't care. This is not how it was supposed to be done, but I'm not going in. It's not going to happen. Mustard? Yeah, a little mustard. And then I'll just turn the bun when it's on top. And it'll all get mixed in. Yes. So here's what I mean. I'll just turn it. It'll be mixed now. Mixed well enough. Oh no, don't tell me I did it again. I did. Do it all the time. I don't know why, but for some reason, I have a problem keeping the buns separated. That's my fault. All right, let's compare now. Well, here you have it. The double cheeseburger from McDonald's and our cheeseburger. I should probably get it in a light. Both of them, right? Now, I, I went ahead and took a bite of the McDonald's when it was hot. I just took a bite of ours. Now, you know which one's better. Oh, Amy. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, apparently I need to get eaten because I'm not going to have one if I don't. Love ya. See you later.